At the edge of the world, where the ice and snow squall. Where there's no sign of life, where there's nothing at all. Where all that is green's been consumed by the white. Where for half of the year, it's as dark as the night. There, an island locked fast in a long frozen sea, is where evil things gather to plan their next feed. There's witches and werewolves, there's vampires and gnomes, and they meet there to plan how to invade our homes. Yes, they all gather there near the end of October. It's really quite awful. You wouldn't want to go there. Once all have arrived, the feasting begins. A slithering and writhing of legs, claws and wings. With no sign of plates, saucers, spoons, forks or knives. Because the buffet is fresh. Every dish is alive. As the hungry hordes strike, pitiful screams tear the silence, and flesh is consumed in a frenzy of violence. And when it's all over, they turn on each other, settling old scores, sister turning on brother. Oh, you don't want to be there. You just shouldn't go. Because the creatures you'll meet there are not nice to know. When the morning dawns dark, their parliament starts in the poisonous reek of their rotten dead farts, mingled with remnants of last night's repast and old witch's sweat, goblinry and elf gas. In short, the place stinks and so does their business. The greed on their faces is frightening to witness as they decide who will target each part of the world who will eat boys, and who will eat girls. The vampires get France, and the werewolves get Spain, and Britons debated again and again till, as usual, the witches defy all the rest, and claim for themselves that land to infest. As sudden as death, the gathering ends. The island breathes deep, as the silence descends, while the rest of the world gives a howl of fear. The Dark Ones are coming. Look, they're almost here. But humans are blind to the gathering storm. They play foolish games as they sit in the warm. They think Halloween is about having fun. They have no idea of what has begun. And off Britain's coast, witches gather and seethe as darkness descends on All Hallows Eve. The storm reaches land with a powerful crash. Winds howl and moan, rains thunder and lash. In the midst of the turmoil, the witches arrive, riding their brooms as though they were alive, bucking and tossing, cackling with glee as they search for a victim. Mercilessly, diving and surfing through current and eddy, the witches are coming, and no one is ready. The village is sleeping, all unaware of the horror that's squirming its way through the air. Little trickers and treaters are all tucked up tight, and mummies and daddies are in bed for the night. When Louis wakes up, and looks from his room to see ten witches hovering by the light of the moon. He rushes downstairs to awaken Grace, who jumps up with an uncertain look on her face, and together they peek through the shutters and gasp at an army of witches, ugly and vast. Scarlet, oh Scarlet, come quickly, they cry as the clamour of cackles grows louder outside. Now they're right at the window, snarling and howling. They need food right now. Their stomachs are growling. A scarlet comes over, they're up on the roof, rattling the tiles right out of their grooves. Where is our daddy? Oh, why won't he wake? 
No noise is as loud as a Force 9 earthquake, and all three scream loud as with a huge rush. The witches break in, in a whirl and a crush. And so Grace and Louie dive under the bed. But Scarlet stays standing, just staring ahead. A child? cries the leader. Why doesn't it cower? Don't you know we're about to eat you, my flower? But Scarlet just stands there and says to the crone, Do you know if the capital of Venus is Rome? And please can you tell me how wild pasta grows? And sorry, old pal, there's pus on your nose. Is it tea time in Russia? Do carrots explode? Can I use the laptop? And are you a toad? The leading witch angrily turns to her coven. Children, she sneers. Don't you just love them? I like them raw says the one with the beard. And I like them fried, even though that sounds weird. On Minecraft, did you know there's a Halloween mod? The witches stop, and the head says, That's odd. But Louis has crawled out, and now's in full flow. Earlier on, Grace had more than one go. Did you know sometimes you can build piers? The witches look worried. Some cover their ears. Now, witches are creatures that like to be clear, and children with questions are something they fear. So when Grace pops up in questioning mode, it's too much for three, whose heads all explode. When Grace starts to ask what the witches have bought her, two of the old crones dissolve into water. And as all three children start talking together, the leader screams, Retreat, girls, right now, all together. And the five living witches head straight for the door, run up the stairs, and are seen no more. Well, that was rude, says Scarlet at last. They could have said goodbye, says Gracie, aghast. But Louis has gone. He is no longer there. All they hear are his feet as he runs up the stairs. Mummy, Daddy, some witches came here. You've woken us up. It was just a dream, dear. But outside the window, the sky's full of brooms as thousands of witches flee houses and rooms destroyed by the questions, their invasion beaten, all because of some children who should have been eaten. Oh, they flee full of anger frustration and fear. But don't worry, children. They'll come back next year. <laughs>